Hello everyone, Gaming Noodle here. It's been quite a while, but I don't think anyone gives a shit. But I was on a bit of a break, I am now back. Uh, and I've completely forgot where I left off, so let's have a look here. Oh, you're better now. Yes, I am. I heard about King Valentine. Oh, you he heard about... He used to be such a great king. Yeah, he used to. He's a mental it's case now. that he changed. This happened about when he made the coins. Wait, he made the coins? Oh, you're the newcomer. Yes. Is it true that you've been to the Demon Lord's country? Yes. Until just recently. I was an attendant to Princess Gwendolyn in the castle. Oh, you're the one that always makes her tea. That's her. I'm glad she's still alive. So you sometimes come to this subterranean city, do you? That's cool. Which means that Gwendolyn must have already been banished now. In the timeline. Wow, that's so cool. I love that's what I love about this game, the the way the storylines move together. Is something wrong? Meryl, run! The goblins are invading! Oh no. Here they come! Hurry! Goblins! For alone. Is better to skin them and make a nice fur cloak. You deserve that. Stop! This is Puka territory. Get out, goblins. What are you saying? This is our land. What? We're citizens of Valentine. We're entitled to. Don't talk land. bollocks. You're not a Puka. Stop talking nonsense. No, it's true. Pukas with evil hearts are turned into goblins. Oh. But I don't know why they would act this way. Because the they're evil. must be given freely in order for the spell to be broken. Stealing the coins won't help. We know that. After all, our king cursed us. But King Valentine ordered us to do this. King Valentine? If your king cursed you, why are you this following his orders? But we can't just let you pukas be the only ones who get to be humans again. But if we toss the coins in the lava in the Fire Kingdom like the king said, it'll glorify your crying faces forever. Glorify your crying faces forever. Wait. Your king is a mental case. Meryl, are you alright? And so are you. Oh, you can't let them... If we lose the coins, then we will never return to our old selves. Oh, they're not going to throw those coins anywhere. We're going to get them back. Whoa, I think I remember those attacks, and I think I remember they hurt. Those big green balls. Oh man. Whoa. Let me uh, go ahead and use a cyclone. Oh god. Right. Heal, please. Thank you. Gotta be very careful. Oh. That was overkill, that one was already dead. Stand near those when they die, that's what I'm saying. Oh, nice, got rid of all of them. That was nice. Right. My health is low again. Because I didn't have a cooler, that's why. Alright. So, let's have that. Now, let's eat some food. Oh. That leveled me up, and I wasted uh, 
Remember, easy does it. You don't have to go all mental. Even when I'm doing it, I'm trying to do it easy, I still get too many hits. There we go. Easy. Oh, come on. Just hurry up. They keep bouncing around. It gets a bit difficult to attack them sometimes. What is going on? Too many. Right. This is actually kind of scary. Too many of those salamandery ones. Cyclone it up. I just hate those balls of fire that they spit. Really hate it. Yes. Come on then. Come on then, mate. Is that all you got? Oh, you missed again. You missed again. Dead. Ooh, almost got hit. No, mate, no. Dead. Just like your mate. Let's see. Oh, I'm almost dead, so... Oh, no! I didn't know you could throw those. There we go. Nice. Getting my levels up. How dare you. Done. Any more? Anyone else? Thought not. Frickin' thought not. I got a D. You do. Still no map. Just got strudel. Any photons? That's one. No, I guess not. Let's let's go here. Another level. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Oh, I forgot. I need to have a cooler. Let's make one real quick. Extremely dangerous. It's all good though, it's all good. No, it ain't. Oh no, it's not good at all. Not good at all. Yeah, just come, just keep running into me. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that was close. That was too close. Die. Oh, God. Yes! 
the less of those salamanders, the better. Eating some apple. Oh, why, 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 why? Why must I always get hit? Come on. No, do not want to be in this position. There we go. Come on. No. Oh, man. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Come on. Almost. very easy to die in this kind of place, I'm telling you, it's very easy to die. Got to be careful. Just got to be. God, this is a big map. Oh, boss time. And I'm taking damage. Because it's hot. Get some cooler up in here. This shouldn't be a problem. This mini boss is actually pretty easy, to be honest. Just gotta be careful of a few moves, a few attacks that she does. You know, she attacks very infrequently to be any kind of threat. She likes to fly around a lot. Oh, crit is always good. I'm doing a lot of damage though, I mean, her health is going down so fast. I guess having a 22 cipher level at the stage is, uh, is pretty handy. Pretty, pretty handy. Yeah, that's not gonna help. And yes, I do watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. It is a fantastic show. And she dead. She charcoal. Might as well uh, use her soul to plant my food to eat. But it's not going to be enough for this type of plant, so might as well put one of those Foson plants down so it can give me some extra souls. Some extra phosons. There's one. Num num num. Give me the other, please. Gimme! Oh shit! I smacked it too early and. Wow, okay. I lose out on an extra bit of napple because I was impatient. Story of my life. Just pick up these seeds and get the hell on with it. You know, I've been doing many levels and I'm cutting most of them out because they're too long! I didn't have a map, okay, and I did all of these freaking levels here that you see and I'm basically back to this side of the map. It's just so annoying sometimes, especially when I'm trying to go from A to B real quick. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of mobs. But, 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 it should be easy. Yeah, this is fine. But I was going through the whole entire map blind because of no freaking map, and I was like, okay, I've got to be near the boss now. I have got to be. And then I'd done all the map, and then there was only one way to go, and it was back, as you saw on the, on the map. And that kind of annoyed me. Give me that. Give me that sweet loot. Got some alchemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we get the map. So let's have a look, shall we? 
that we finally got this freaking map. Yeah, right at the boss. Right before the boss I get the freaking map. I have I did all of those stages first because I was blind and I didn't know where to go and I was doing all of them and then I get this now. <sighs> oh well. I cut most of it out so you the viewer do not have to suffer like I suffered. And now we have story time, children. Oh, it's you. You, you again. You always interfere. And you're always a psycho. Those stupid goblins were all talk. You are a king, are you not? Why would you choose to He's make a king of corpses? Suffer? Look at his face. Those coins are mine to spend as I please. Okay, you are delusional. Very well. Let me tell you a story. Go on then. Story time. Long ago. There was once a benevolent king with extraordinary powers. In order to keep his people happy, he put his power into the money, so all shared it. That's an interesting concept. But what happened to him? Instead of thriving, the country was destroyed by a traitor. And instead of being mourned, I was called a mad tyrant who cursed my because own you country. Are. Didn't you use the cauldron against your own land? It matters. Oh, right, yeah, of course. It doesn't matter now. Both the king's power and virtuous spirit have been infused into the coins. Once these coins were melted in the lava, my power would have returned to me. Those idiotic goblins! No, I shall let this go. <laughs> yes, you are. I still have this guy is like bipolar or something. I don't know what is wrong with him, but he has too many problems to list. There is just one egg. Don't underestimate it. As the prophecies state, this is the egg of the dragon that dooms us Is that us right? All. In the Valentine prophecies, they call this snake uh, Dragon Levin. Levinthan. Leventhan, Leventhan. So Wagner was referring to you when, when he, he said, said what? That. What did he say? I can't remember. My fury will burn the world. I will give you all my power. Oh yes. I trust it all to your fiendish, brutal nature. Now hatch. Remember when we were Gwendolyn? Show us your we were fighting this dragon. That's how it got the crown. It's the crown of the King of Valentine. I see, I see, I see. But yes, we remember we go as Gwendolyn because Cornelius was fighting the dragon for Onyx for the deal that they made, and then you have to fight the dragon as Gwendolyn. Well, I guess we fight it before Gwendolyn fights it, and this is how it hatches, and it's got its little crown. The crown has some sort of power, I guess, that has the King of Valentine's power in it. And he wants this dragon to be, you know, really powerful and destroy everything, the whole world. So he's given it its, his own crown. So that's why it's got the crown in its head. I always did, I did wonder at the beginning uh, why it had his crown. I, you know, I forgot all these things. I've played this game before, but I honestly, I forgot a lot of the story. So it's really fun to play this again and go through it another time because I really love the story of this game. It's very fun. And this fight is actually very easy. As Gwendolyn this fight was easy, as Cornelius this fight is easy. For a baby dragon it is a pushover. Well it is a baby dragon after all. I'm sure it'll be a pushover when it's grown up as well, but we'll see. Right now though it's just not posing a threat. With crown and all. At least take the shell off your head. Come on. It's a very cute little dragon though. Poor thing keeps getting knocked down. It's very easy to knock it down. You just do a combo, you complete a combo on it, and it will usually knock down. Very, very easy. Poor thing. This is basically animal abuse. These, what are the salamanders or whatever, they don't really, all these flames, they don't really cause too much of an issue. 
I kind of just ignore them if I can. And Oh, when he does that, it's a big one. Yep. When he sucks in the air like that, it's a huge one. And that will one-shot you, I think, if it touches you. So you do not want to be on the wrong side when he does that. Absolutely not. Oh, I've run out. But I can hear a butterfly as well. I do not want to get hit by a huge... Yes, look, he's doing a huge one. But I need that uh, butterfly, I think. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Time to finish off this dragon. Good night. Puka Prince, Chapter 6, Act 6, The Origin of Fire Sanctuary. I was down there too long. Where? The Netherworld's jewels. Oh. They suppressed my powers. I could feel them withering away. Yeah, yeah, excuses, there. excuses. Who are you? Next you'll blame it on lag. I am Prince Cornelius of Titania. I see. Edmund's boy. I didn't understand why you carried the mystic sword. Well, now you do. But now, I see why he gave you that patricidal, patricidal. blade. Hmm. Patricide? I don't think he'd tell you. He killed his own father, King Gallen, and took That the crown. old man? That's our father? My father couldn't do that. He looks very timid. My grandfather was killed when the country was attacked by the demon beast. My father was visibly frightened when he saw this sword in my hands. Ah, that voice that gave me the sword. It knew who I am. Oh. No. Well, I guess it was. That, that was King Gallen. King Gallen must have wept in his cell. In addition to killing his own citizens. <laughs> he was slain by... No, oh, you're so son. happy about this. You're <laughs> such an evil little shit. I had thought that... After the attack, my father was the kingdom's savior, and was given the crown. You say my grandfather was the demon beast? That's absurd! He transformed via a mystic power passed down through the Titanian royal family. Hmm. In order to fight my own intimidating army, Gallen made a decision. Our military I forces see. were crushed under his feet, and we were scattered. There was no time for anger. The beast continued to rampage through the kingdom for seven days. So my father destroyed the beast in order to save I the country. See. Be grateful for Edmund. If he did not claim to know the mystic power himself, I would have invaded Titania. Your land would have been easy to Well, conquer. you didn't. So that's why he was stubborn. Oh, what's that? What's going on? This rumble is an omen. This is not good. If Onyx, the Inferno King, were to greet us, it would not be a good thing. Well, I've met him before as Gwendolyn. He doesn't seem so... nasty. Wait. Where are you going? Into the flames of purgatory. What does that mean? I bid thee farewell until the world dies. Oh, what a thing to say. And why are you letting him get away? He's going away with a dragon that's supposed to kill us all in the end. Don't let him get away. What was the point of fighting? It's all here. I see. I'm relieved. Cornelius, thank oh, you welcome. for everything. I speak on everyone's behalf. Very kind. I would have been worried if I lost the coins as well. You say you're from yeah. Titania? You shouldn't go home mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, not with the way the town by the castle what? is. What? What? Haven't you heard? A dragon has appeared what in the dragon? castle town. A dragon? A woman has been chosen to be sacrificed to it. The king of Titania is unable to do anything, and the country is in a panic. What is going on in our hometown? My father is ruthless. This is mental. 
Alright, we're going to see what's up next episode, because this doesn't sound right. See you then.